What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, finally, freaking Friday. Uh, it's 2 o'clock already. My God, today is going by so quick. I don't feel like I've gotten much done. I got a half ton of sand on the back of here. I got some lime that I got to mix up to make some mortar. I got to make some doors for the cabinets and things, and then get the shaper out of here. I got to go over and fix a couple of plugs and stuff. And of course, I got my live stream at 9 o'clock. So, oh, and I got to put epoxy on the countertop. Oh, God. And then there's the trim up. Okay. There's a lot to do. Shout out to my man, Game Time Brian, who's doing his first live stream from his studio where he's working with the new software. And he literally scared the bejeebies out of me. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here doing my. Uh, matrimonial duties of dropping the wife off here and waiting in the car and so I was listening to game time doing his stuff and he's got all kinds of drops and for me you know I, I, I multitask so I was listening to the game time and I'm sitting here because after the summer that we've had where we've had all the smoke and stuff you know the sm I mean the smoky it's smoky you know where you literally went outside and had to wear a, a, a mask a respirator because all that smoke from Canada then there was all the hot air and I'm not talking just about Philly 500 and all the shit he's been talking but I'm talking about the, the heat and everything else it, it was just ugly but I'm sitting here and it's about 65 degrees. In fact, there's a little bit of a chill in the air. Chill in the air. And and there's a breeze stirring. The, the sky feels clear. The scare feels so good. And I was just sitting here as I'm waiting for the wife. And I'm listening to my man Game Time. And I was like, yeah, okay. And I started drifting off. I could still hear him and everything. And he hits this drop. And it's an explosion. Boom. And I'm like, oh, what the Thanks, game time. Thanks. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Okay, so the Cowboys had their Friday practice. And we talking about practice. Not 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 the game. Not the game that we love. We talking about practice. Okay, so 18 hours ago, Zach Martin was added to the injury list with a groin injury. Okay, so you know, we know we're thin on the offensive line. The good news is Zach Martin took every step in practice. Zach Martin took every snap of practice. Tyron Smith was listed on the injury report early in the week and stuff, and he's practiced every single day. Now, who hasn't been practicing is Brandon Cooks, did not practice today at all, um, who's dealing with a sprained MCL. <sighs> yeah. So, they're probably, you know, as chances are, he ain't going to play this week. Which means then we're going to get a better chance to see what Michael Gallup's got. And Jalen Tolbert may end up getting a chance to really start shining uh, against a really good defense of the Jets. Uh, so we'll see how those guys are doing. Uh, you know, hopefully there's no letdown um, with it. The good thing for the Cowboys is, is they have a lot of different playmakers and they have a lot of different directions of things that they can do. Um, and one other thing that's also really nice, too, when you look at the game we had last week, here's the great thing. And see, you just have to be able to find little advantages where you can. Because the Cowboys' defense was so dominant, because the special teams got a score, we were already up 14 points before we really even got the ball. In that case, you didn't need to pull out all your big guns. You didn't have to go out and do... <clears throat> A whole lot of different things to try and trigger you were just like okay all we got to make sure we do is we don't fuck it up excuse my language we don't f it up that you know we go out here we can run the football we can you know it's bad weather and all that we can keep things close to the best because what you can look at right now is say we don't really know what this offense is going to look like didn't have to show it not at all not against the giants the Giants are ass-ass when it comes to playing against the Cowboys. So all the talking heads can say what they want about Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys and everything else, but you really don't know what this offense is going to look like or what, you know, when it gets to be crunch time, what our bread and butter is, which is great. The longer before that it takes before we have to show that, the better. Now, I hope that we don't get in here with this game. Um... 
you know, after having the big season opener where we went out there and, 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 and blew doors, that the guys get comfortable and all of a sudden start believing the hype. Because after, you know, saying the Cowboys are ass, they're chokers, uh, you know, they're going to be doing Cowboy things and this, that, and the other, that now they go out, they have this big blowout that they think, oh, shit, oh, we them boys, we that good. And they lose some of that hunger because we don't want to lose that hunger. You need that hunger. You need that edge. And you need to understand that every week, every week, we need to go in there and act like we are the underdog and that we are disrespected and go in there and kick ass, kick teeth, in. kick teeth in. I mean, kick teeth in um, and stay hungry because once we lose that edge, you have to understand there's a lot of teams that have looked great one week and look like ass ass the next. Yeah. Um, now, some teams that just look ass ass every week. And I will say last night. Shout out to the Eagles for getting the win. But they look like ass ass, if you ask me. Um, Jalen Hurts, tell you what, that ain't the same dude you saw last year. He um, looks timid. Eagle fans will get pissed off at me. Um, Averaged 2.9 yards a carry last night. And we're not looking at the Minnesota Vikings being a great team defensively. They're not, but they've learned how to um, corral. Defensive coordinators have learned how to corral um, Jalen Hurts. And it may be that the Eagles miss that offensive coordinator a lot more than they thought they did. You know the old saying, be careful what you It's asper cream. Put an asper cream on the wrist before I get ready to, uh, and the elbows before I get ready to do more plastering. Um, you know, they say, be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. And the Eagles, of course, you know, Philly 500 had been talking about their coordinators and how they needed to be replaced. But their defensive coordinator had you almost record-breaking sacks. I know you sucked in the Super Bowl, but you did some damage with that coordinator. And your offensive coordinator led you into a Super Bowl. I don't care what you say about them. They did that. They didn't. The players didn't do that shit on their own. So we'll see as time goes on. But it seemed like that offense had no rhyme or reason to it, and it was like they kept trying to run Jalen Hurts, and he's not getting uh, the the wide open fields. And he's taking a lot of hits. I don't think you can have that quarterback taking all those hits like that for very long, and uh, think that he's going to be able to hold up. So we'll see. MVP, right, Shady? I, I, I actually want to see what Shady McCoy has to say uh, about Hurts' performance. I'm sure it's not going to be bad. Peace.